Coming up on Metro 5 this week, we felicitate with the parish priest of St. Leo's Catholic Church of Kwebi, Lagos State, the Right Reverend Monsignor John Aniago on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of his priestly ordination. Also on the show, we go to Owa Liro in Delta State for the burial of the Ojayangbe of Owa Kingdom, Chief Arthur Okori Okowa, father of the governor of Delta State, Dr. Ifanyi Okowa. Hello everyone, nice to have you join us on the show today. I mean, it's a wonderful thing that we all made it to the month of September, the beginning of the Ember month, just three months away from the end of the year. Hope you have achieved your goals or working towards achieving it. It's never too late, trust me. Anyway, 30 minutes of your time is all I ask. So let's celebrate together, shall we? Kindly be mindful of flash images. Once again, welcome to the program. I am Oge Chukwosi, Oye Ludi. Now we begin the show in Lagos. 50 years of working in the vineyard of the Lord as a Roman Catholic priest, the parish priest of St. Leo's Catholic Church, Okwebi, Lagos State, the right Reverend Monsignor John Aniago celebrates. Take a look. Fifty years of divine ordinance and stewardship in the vineyard of the Lord. A milestone celebration for Right Reverend Monsignor John Anyago's work with the Lord and spreading his gospel under the Roman Catholic Church. This is a special celebration for the Monsignor, who is the parish priest of St. Leo's Catholic Church, Ikeja, Lagos. And the day did not just go by without a little celebration. Monsignor Anyagu, who is also the Vicar General of the Catholic Archdiocese of Lagos, Episcopal Vicar of Ikeja Region and Chancellor of Augustine University, Ilarekwe, Lagos State, had other priests, bishops, reverend sisters, as well as other important guests come through for him on this special day. Thank you for honoring our invitation to be part of this momentous occasion, celebrating the 50th anniversary of the priestly ordination of our father and friend, Monsignor John Aniago. Ordained a priest on August the 15th, 1971, at St. Dominic's Catholic Church, Yaba, in Lagos State, Monsignor Anyagu, who is an indigent of Ubuluno in Delta State, continues to work, 
making the mark in the Catholic Church of Nigeria, especially in the area of education, priestly and religious formation. We have seen him from various angles. Some people see him as confident, but not arrogant. Some people see him as simple and humble, but very observant. He knows what you are doing. He is very amiable, but very comprehending. Very civilized, very cultured, but very compassionate. Very fair, but very firm. He is a no-nonsense parish priest. He would always say to God, You have no child and taught me, O oh Lord. You have guarded me as the apple of your eyes. As the eagle spreads its wings to carry its young. You have borne me, Lord, upon your shoulders. You have always been my need. And I will always be your father. The ordination celebration was everything in one. From lecture on income inequality and social discontents in Nigeria, to tributes and presentation by the Committee of Friends of the Celebrant. I will therefore call on Monsignor Aniago to please unveil this present, to kindly unveil this. Chief host, the Archbishop of the Metropolitan See of Lagos, His Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Alfred Adewale Martins, showered encomium on the celebrant. I can only say that on behalf of the Archdiocese of Lagos, we are grateful for the very many ways you have served the church and the very many ways that you continue to serve and continue to give indications of willingness to do even more. We pray that God will give you the good health of mind and body that you need, as well as the grace of final perseverance, so that at the end of all of this, 50, 60, 70, however many years, you will attain the crown of eternal life. The launching of his foundation is one way the celebrant has been helping indigent children with scholarships and other things to help alleviate their sufferings. The thin chapter memorable meetings and conferences for change, health and wealth. I leave the content for you. Suspension is very good so that you want to read something about this, you need to get a copy of this book. Also at the occasion, he used the opportunity to unveil his new book, Nisi Dominus, a memoir of a grateful Catholic priest, which is a 310-page book that chronicles his journey in the priesthood. I hereby humbly present to you the latest book of Monsignor J.K. Anyago. I sincerely and I warmly recommend it with all my heart for your intellectual information readership pleasure, legacy for inspiration, and pragmatic challenge to better our human lords in view of eternal destiny. After the review, it was followed by the book presentation. He has spent all his life 
working for the art diocese, working for the church, working for God. So and for him to have now made 50 years of ordination, and I think it's a very big thing for any Reverend Fathers in the Catholic Church. It means that uh, really it's been, it's been very providential, like he wrote in his book, and we're going to wish him so many, many more years to come. The celebrant is then invited to the cake stand to do the honors of cutting the anniversary cake. A D. Give me an E. Give me an N. Give me a C. Give me another E. What do you have? Providence. Congratulations, Father. May you serve many, many more years in God's vineyard. Monsignor Anyago, a seasoned administrator, a teacher, and a lover of sports, was born in Ijebuode, Ogun State, southwest Nigeria, on March the 15th, 1944. He had his primary education in Lagos and then proceeded to St. Teresa's Minor Seminary in Ibadan and then to Major Seminary of SS Peter and Paul Bodija, also in Ibadan Oyo State. A year later, he proceeded to Rome in Italy to continue his training for the priesthood. While there, he acquired other education from the Pontifical Urban University and also had a diploma in French and German language from French and German institutions respectively. After that, he has gone ahead to acquire more knowledge in various institutes of learning all over the world. Monsignor Aniago described his journey as eventful with several engagements, both religion and academic spheres, including getting several awards and recognitions. I would just like to say that I appreciate everyone who has been here today, that you all saw fit to honor me with your presence in spite of the inconvenience and challenges involved in getting here. I appreciate His Eminence, John Cardinal Onayeko, Archbishop Emeritus of Abuja, my friend and my brother for close to 60 years now. At 77 years of age and 50 years in priesthood, Right Reverend Monsignor John Aniago is just getting started. He still has more to contribute to the church and the society at large. As he celebrates this milestone in his life, we wish him all the very best in his service to God and humanity. Oh, once again, we say congratulations to him. Now, when we return, Metrofile goes to Owaliru in Delta State, South South Nigeria. Join us again. Welcome back. It's still Metrofile right here on Channels Television. We now move to Owaliru in a car northeast local government area of Delta State for the burial of the Ojayangbe of our kingdom, Chief Arthur Okori Okowa, father of the governor of Delta State, Dr. Ifanyi Okowa. Proverbs 13.22 says, A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. Now this verse aptly describes the legacy of good character, discipline, hard work and selfless service to God and humanity that late Chief Arthur Okorie Okua is leaving behind for his children's children. Late Chief Okoa, who is the father of the governor of Delta State, Dr. Ifan Okoa, died in January 2020 at the age of 88. Although he has long been buried, his children held a special thanksgiving in his honor 
at his country home in Ikan Northeast local government area of Delta State. We lift up your name, Jesus. It all kicked off with a procession into the St. Michael's Anglican Church. They celebrate their father on this day in a special way. The governor and his wife, Dame Edith Okoa, and the entire Okoa family mourn the painful exit of their patriarch. But they have all decided not to mourn like those who do not have hope, but rather celebrate his legacy and positive contributions to Ika land. We have come together as the family of God in our father's presence to offer him praise and thanksgiving especially for the life and times of late Sir Chief A. O. U. Okawa. A devout Christian of the Anglican Communion, this special service was officiated by Archbishop Metropolitan and Primate of the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, Most Reverend Henry Ndukuba, supported by other bishops and clergies of the Anglican Church all over the country. My people that we should be able to offer so willingly after this thought for all things come of thee and of thy own have we given thee verse 15 for we are strangers before thee and sojourners as we are all our fathers are days on the earth as the shadow and there is none abiding this is the word of the Lord. The Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, former Vice President, Alhaji Atiku Abubakar, governors of different states, royal fathers, captains of industry, as well as the sons and daughters of Ika land, joined his family to celebrate his life. Lord, I lift up your name, O oh God, above every other name. Above every other name. Lord, we lift up your name, O oh God. Yes, you are the Lord, most high. Yes, you are the Lord, most high. Yes, you are the Lord, most high. Yes, you are. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them. 
and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. This is the word of God. It's time to say goodbye, so with you. A knight of the Anglican Church, his was a life of impact as a teacher, an administrator, a politician, a community leader and a traditional title holder. Equipped with all these qualities, he was able to impact his world in his own little way. I remember what God has done in and through him to give thanks to God. We said to you, Your Excellency, your brothers and sisters, Take heart. Baba leaves. Just as Jesus said to that noble man, go your way. Your son leaves. Baba is not lost. He is alive. Vice President Professor Yemi Oshibajo offered words of consolation to the Okoa family while praising late Chief Okoa's contribution to Ika land. Ultimately, it is a legacy, a legacy of faith, of character, and selfless service to God and man. It is only such an inheritance, such a legacy, that influences the trajectory of the lives of children and grandchildren and indeed whole communities and nations. His son, Delta State Governor Ifan Yokoa, stepped up to the altar, speaking on behalf of the family. He appreciated everyone who have supported them in their moment of grief while paying glowing tribute to his late father. God was really very gracious to our father. He lived a good life. He lived a life of truth. He was a disciplinarian. And when we look back at our days in school and how he sought to discipline us, then we thought as children it may not have been the best, but today we are happy because we went through that tutelage. From here, guests moved to the Federal Road Safety Training Center where they were entertained. Governor Ifan Yokoa, accompanied by his special guests and governors, arrived at the arena 
acknowledging cheers from the guests. The First Lady of Delta State and other family members stormed the dance floor. They danced, all in celebration of their father, grandfather and great-grandfather. accepted me from the very first time I entered the house as a daughter. He was my friend. That's what I will say. He's been very active in our politics. I mean, Paukawa. He's been an outreaching person. He has, he has used that kind of leadership that has endeared him to the minds of the people. A celebration of life it is for his children who are determined to continue the race as the baton has been handed over to them by their beloved father. May his soul rest in peace. But it's on that celebration of life that we'll end the show today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll continue again next week. In the meantime, you can watch these and past editions of the show on channelstv.com. Follow us on Instagram and also you can reach us with the number blinking on your screen. Thank you once again for watching. I am Oge Chukwosi. I'll see you again soon.